In the captivating world of treasure hunting and mystery exploration, few names shine as brightly as Marty and Rick Legina. These brothers have become household names through their adventures on the hit television series, The Curse of Oak Island. Their shared passion for solving the centuries-old riddles of Oak Island, Nova Scotia has not only entertained viewers, but also sparked curiosity about their financial achievements, notably because it seems that Marty is considerably wealthier than his brother, Rick. This thrilling TV series featuring the Lagina brothers has enthralled audiences since it premiered in 2014 on the History Channel. It takes viewers on a mesmerizing journey to a small island off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, where legends, enigmas, and alleged fortunes remain hidden beneath the surface. The story of the Curse of Oak Island is deeply rooted in history, dating back to the late 18th century. The legend centers on the belief that a valuable treasure, perhaps including pirate booty or holy artifacts, is buried beneath the island's surface. The mystery surrounding Oak Island is marked by numerous failed attempts to uncover its secrets, leading to the belief in a so-called curse that befalls those who seek the treasure, hence the title of the series. According to legend, the treasure is said to remain elusive until seven men have paid the ultimate price in their quest for it. As of late 2023, six individuals have tragically lost their lives in the pursuit. The latest journey to solve the Oak Island mystery began when 13-year-old Rick Lagina, hailing from Michigan, stumbled upon the island's legends and tales in an article entitled Oak Island's Mysterious Money Pit in the January 1965 edition of the Reader's Digest. At the heart of the mystery is the infamous Money Pit, a deep man-made shaft that's been the subject of numerous excavations. The strange depression on the ground was first discovered in 1795 by 16-year-old Daniel McKins, who along with his two friends, eagerly set out to uncover its secrets. As they delved deeper into the earth, they made an intriguing discovery. At intervals of every 10 feet, they encountered oak platforms that added to the mystery surrounding the site. They stopped as it became more difficult to go further. Since then, more treasure seekers have come to the island periodically, but no one is known to have been successful in their quest. The article ended with a quote that explained why people never gave up on solving the mystery. Someone went to a lot of trouble to bury something here. And unless he was the greatest practical joker of all time, it must have been well worth the effort. Rick found the story so intriguing that he read it to his 10-year-old brother Marty, who later said that he absorbed Rick's enthusiasm by osmosis. It was definitely enticing enough to captivate young boys like the Legina brothers, who relished adventure tales, particularly those from the Hardy Boys books. Their passion for history and the allure of hidden treasures eventually drew them to Oak Island, where they embarked on a mission to unravel its enigma. Over the years, the Legina brothers and their team, who have since been known as the Fellowship of the Dig, have made fascinating discoveries in and around the Money Pit. The brothers' determination, alongside a team of experts and treasure hunters, set the stage for what would become one of TV's most compelling and enduring series. While it's true that a variety of interesting artifacts have been found on Oak Island, the main treasure hasn't been found. Several theories on the nature of the treasure have circulated and explain why the Lagina brothers were determined to find it. The leading theory links Oak Island to Captain Kidd, a 17th century pirate, with local legend citing that a dying sailor on Kidd's crew reportedly claimed that two million pounds in treasure was buried there. In the 19th century, treasure hunters unearthed the stone from the money pit with inscriptions reading, 40 feet below, two million pounds. Some theories claim that the treasure on Oak Island is connected to the Knights Templar, a medieval Christian military order. It's speculated that the Templars, who were believed to possess significant wealth and knowledge, may have hidden their treasures, religious artifacts, or historical documents on the island, including the Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail. The Oak Island Money Pit is thought by some to be a Templar construction, although there's no record of the Knights ever venturing across the Atlantic. A theory has circulated for years that suggests the renowned playwright William Shakespeare might have been Francis Bacon, a claim championed by dedicated Baconians. This idea emerged in the 19th century when his followers proposed that Francis authored most of Shakespeare's plays. 
and believed that, inexplicably, the original manuscripts were hidden in an Oak Island vault alongside Francis Valuables. Clues such as the discovery of mercury during early expeditions, which Bacon used for document preservation, and the connection to the Knights Templar, with which Bacon was associated, fueled speculation surrounding this theory. In the inaugural season, after draining a constructed swamp, the group stumbled upon a Spanish 8 Maravedis coin from 1652. That same season, while exploring Smith's Cove, they made the intriguing discovery of non-indigenous coconut fibers. This find hinted at the possibility that the original architects of the Money Pit had ties to more tropical regions. Season 5 witnessed what arguably stands as the show's most significant find, a medieval league cross with the potential to reshape history by providing evidence of a Knights Templar presence in Nova Scotia. A metal detector also uncovered a fragment of ancient jewelry housing a 500-year-old rhodolite garnet stone. Moreover, the money pit yielded two human bones, with DNA analysis revealing one of them to have Middle Eastern ancestry, strengthening the connection between the Knights Templar and Oak Island. Notable discoveries from subsequent seasons include an ornate brooch with a gem in the center. Testing revealed that it was crafted in pure copper and gold, marking it as the first piece of gold found on the island. The glass gem could possibly date back to around 500 years. Additionally, a heavy iron spike was found, believed to have been used for anchoring ships to rocks and dated to the period between 1710 and 1740, potentially linking it to a French expedition of that time. Remarkably, the leader of this expedition had a family lineage tracing back to the Knights Templar. Treasure hunting on Oak Island is not a free-for-all endeavor, and access to the island is restricted. It's privately owned, and the treasure hunting activities that have taken place there have been managed by individuals, groups, or entities with the necessary permits. Marty was in Florida when he saw Oak Island listed among islands for sale in a magazine. Excited, he contacted his brother Rick and they met with an agent, hoping to buy the island. However, it turned out that the ad listing for sale was misleading. Undaunted, they sought out the owners, David Tobias and Dan Blankenship. David decided to sell his share, but there was a catch. Dan had the final say on any sale. The Legina brothers had crossed paths with Dan earlier while helping him clear the island and had bonded over their shared passion for treasure hunting. So Rick and Marty were successful in buying half of Oak Island. They made little progress in their quest because Canada's Treasure Trove Act was revoked, meaning that no one could look for treasure in the country. It wasn't until 2010 that the Oak Island Treasure Act was passed, which allowed people to obtain licenses for treasure hunting. The agreement stated that 90% of what they found would go to the Laginas and their partners, while the Canadian government would receive 10%, along with any artifacts. The exact cost of the Legina Brothers Oak Island treasure hunt remains undisclosed. Nevertheless, their dedication to their quest is evident through substantial investments made by them, their team, and other investors, as featured in The Curse of Oak Island. While specific figures aren't available, estimates suggest that the Legina Brothers have collectively poured millions into their treasure hunting ventures. These expenses encompass a wide range, including excavation, research, cutting-edge technology, and the employment of expert teams. It's important to note that this undertaking spans multiple seasons, resulting in mounting costs that underscore their unwavering commitment to unlocking the secrets of Oak Island. Marty Legina was born on 26 August 1955 in Kingsford, Michigan. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering from Michigan Technological University and a Juris Doctorate from the University of Michigan Law School. His entrepreneurial spirit led him and his friend Craig Tester to co-found Terra Energy Lud, a company specializing in natural gas exploration, which he served as the CEO. They played a crucial role in advancing the Antrim Shale natural gas industry in Michigan and their expertise led Terra to become one of the energy industry's standout successes, with a portfolio exceeding $3 billion, encompassing both natural gas and oil resources. And during the 1990s, Terra Energy held the distinction of being the largest gas well operator in Michigan. In 1995, they sold Terra Energy to CMS Energy at its peak for nearly $60 million, 
part of the proceeds of which Marty used to acquire stocks in Chardwell Properties LLC, establishing himself as the primary shareholder. In a pivotal career shift, Marty, aged 40 at the time, along with Craig Tester, founded Heritage Sustainable Energy in 2004. Their mission was clear, to bring renewable energy to all corners of the U.S. Their ambitious goal was to deploy equipment with the capacity to annually power nearly 60,000 homes with clean, locally sourced energy. According to the company's official website, Heritage has made significant strides in its mission, with the installation and operation of numerous wind and solar energy facilities, collectively generating 200 megawatt of clean power for homes. They have an impressive lineup of ongoing projects, promising to bring hundreds more megawatts of clean energy to communities across the nation. Marty serves as the chief executive and holds the majority ownership stake, while Crate assumes the position of vice president. Together, they've played a crucial part in advancing the cause of clean, sustainable energy in the U.S. In the world of winemaking, Marty Ladina, the founder of Mary Vineyards, is celebrated for his bold choices. He embarked on a mission to produce exceptional 100% estate wines, introducing unique grape varieties previously untried on the old Mission Peninsula. Inspired by his Italian grandmother, Teresa Mary, after whom the winery is named, Marty planted unconventional European grapes such as Sangiovese and Nebbiolo, alongside traditional favorites such as Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and Riesling. Innovative winemaking techniques and the use of the Nella Serra hoop house system turned the Lagina family's dream into a reality. The journey began in 1999, when the first vineyard was planted a stone's throw from the winery. This intensive weekend resulted in the creation of their flagship wine, Row 7, officially introduced in 2006. Since becoming Mary Vineyard's most beloved and popular wine, captivating wine enthusiasts with its exceptional quality and unique blend. Marty Legina has diversified his investments and interests. His most prominent endeavor is undoubtedly the treasure hunt on Oak Island. And alongside his brother Rick, Marty has poured resources into the exploration of the island's mysteries. The time came when they, along with their partners, owned 78% of the land making it possible for them to establish Oak Island Tours Incorporated. Even before the TV show, the island's fabled treasure and mysterious curse had drawn in tourists. The company became the gateway for visitors eager to explore the island's legends and enigmatic past. Attempting to quantify Marty Lagina's wealth can be a challenging task, as net worth figures for private individuals are often speculative. Prior to the TV show's inception, Marty's estimated net worth ranged up to $60 million from his high-profile career, business ventures, and investments. The show's success has propelled the estimates to soar, reaching as high as $100 million. Rick Ladina, born on 25 January 1952 in Kingsford, Michigan, shares his brother's fascination with history, mysteries, and treasure hunting. Despite appearing in a reality show, he's quite private about his personal affairs. All that is known about him is that he used to work for the U.S. Postal Service in Michigan, and upon retiring, set off on an adventure of a lifetime on Oak Island. Rick's financial situation is closely linked to his passionate pursuit of solving the Oak Island mystery and his involvement in the reality TV series. His estimated net worth, as of available information, is up to $10 million, far less than that of his brother Marty. However, it's crucial to approach these estimates with caution, as they are speculative and may not account for the full scope of Rick's financial endeavors. The Legina brothers are well aware that everything they've worked hard for might end in disappointment. Rick is prepared to join the ranks of the dedicated individuals who came before him and failed to find the main treasure. Once they sense that no progress is being made, then they know that it's time to pass the torch. Even going by the motto, once in, forever in, he still had to be realistic about it, in the event of his departure from the project. However, he maintains the hope that his team will not be the final link in the long chain of Oak Island explorers. Legina firmly believes that there is a story of historical significance waiting to be unearthed and shared with the world. To those who think that the only reason why the quest for treasure is still ongoing is because of the TV show, they couldn't be further from the truth.
Those who knew the brothers and followed their journey believed that long after they stopped filming, the Laginus would continue their search for the treasure. Walking away from it all would be difficult. Rick said that they had been pursuing this treasure hunt for about three years before the production company approached them to do the show. They were hesitant to accept the offer because they weren't seeking fame, but the producer was quite persuasive, perhaps appealing to what motivated the brothers most in their Oak Island adventure. On the positive side, opening up the island to viewers has been a rewarding experience. The brothers find it heartening that others have embraced the island's mystery as much as they have. Marnie and Rick Legina have captured the interest of viewers worldwide with their relentless pursuit of the Oak Island mystery. While Marty Legina's financial success is speculated to surpass that of his brother Rick, it's essential to remember that their shared passion for treasure hunting, history, and exploration is what truly unites them. The Oak Island treasure hunt remains their primary focus, and their dedication to solving one of the world's enduring mysteries continues to inspire them and their audience. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.